Uh, all right. Uh, today, I'm delighted to be talking to no stranger to Killarney. At this stage, he's coming here for years. Uh, Mr. Jack L., how are you keeping? Very good. Yeah, yeah. I'm an honorary carry man at this stage. Yeah. I've yeah, I didn't make to, I didn't mean to make you feel uh, old there when I said that you're coming here for years. But I see and, we are touring. We are doing the 25 year tour with the new album Echo on. Um, yeah. So yeah, so I'm being made feel old by that anyway. But uh, we're all young at heart. It's always a good thing when you're celebrating, no matter how old something is, to be able to do that and, and celebrate 25 years on the road. I mean, not every artist gets that opportunity to have the longe longevity that you've had over the last 25 years. So how does it yeah. feel looking back on all that? Great. Yeah, I mean, you're always looking forward. I mean, I'm, I'm really only interested in the new album, I suppose. But, um, you know, I was last year it was 25 years, so it's 26 this year, I suppose. Uh, we did the three arena to celebrate that. So, so this is the actual first tour that's we're back fully normally. I mean, one, I actually, the INEC is a place I played a few times during the pandemic that when things used to open and you were able to do the smaller gigs and stuff like that. So, it'd be great to go back and do a fully, you know, a full gig. Um, and, uh, because the difference is measurable, having been at it for the last few weekends, it's so it's, it is genuinely so great to be back to normal. Um, and you just kicked off your 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 new tour, uh, Echo On, which is uh, coming here by the way, Friday the twenty fourth of March, which is only a week away. Uh, we're looking forward to it. So uh, you were gigging there over the weekend. How are the gigs going? Are people uh, are people raring to go at the moment? You know, it really is. I mean, that 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 element of. Um, of fear or whatever that was there is kind of gone. So we are back to normal. And uh, I was going to say, you, you can't reiterate how good that is. Uh, it's only when you experience it. I mean, I had great fun doing the live streams and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it really emboldened the, the audience together, kind of um, just meeting them every Saturday night and chatting and doing different gigs. And uh, so it's been good fun coming out of the whole thing and just going out and meeting everybody. Cause I'm meeting people now who say, I've never seen you live. I've only ever seen you on the internet, which is hilarious, you know. Um, yeah. But uh, that's the tech. The te technology always kind of drives the music business in some way, shape, or form in ways that you never think it's going to. Um, so, yeah, so back out the new album, Echo One, and uh, new tour. And uh, just, yeah, just, uh, you know, just back making music and on the road. And uh, that's the best part of it, really. And did you miss the whole being on the road side of things during the last, when, when you know, during COVID and when we had nothing to do? Did you miss the endless hours driving? No, I mean, I do. I like driving anyway, so or having somebody else drive. But <laughs> I, I, like, I like the perpetual motion. But you do have to stop every now and then. But no, I actually, I mean, I enjoyed the first two weeks, but then I went, then I just the uh, creative kind of buzz kicked in and I wanted to be doing something. So I just started doing the live streams and I made a short movie and I made an album of the live streams. And I mean, a lot of the Echo On album was kind of, was started before the pandemic and finished afterwards with new songs added like Battle of the Hawthorn Trees is about watching the tree across the road turning from the black skeleton in the winter into the white angel in the summer and just just being able to sit in the one spot and look at those things is a bit of a, a privilege in some respect because we're all running around so much these days. Hmm. Uh, you were one of the first, I do remember watching your live streams because um, you really, you really took it on. Uh, like some artists just kind of maybe sat down on the couch and did it, but you were, we were getting a full on show there every whatever Friday or Saturday night that you used to come on every week. So that alone, you know, I suppose people watching, you know, that that would make them want to come see you live. And like, it's great to hear that there's people that have never seen you live before coming to the gigs on the back of, of your live streams on Facebook. So that's surely one good thing that came out of it all. Yeah, no, I mean, it was just great to have something to anchor the weekends to, because I think us not having weekends was the thing that was sending everybody a bit batty, you know, it was just like a certain time was linear. There was no, uh, uh, and so it, it gave everybody something to do on a Saturday night. And as we said, it was like a digital campfire sing-along um obviously it wasn't the same but you could it was funny because you could you're you were being reviewed as you did the gig as you looked up on the uh, phone as you were doing it but yeah i kind of initially i just started like everybody else on the phone but then i you know 
moved into the studio and start doing it properly through a sound desk and start using visuals and you know theming it each week we did cone and cash and elvis and bowie and i did all my albums all the original stuff so it was really a creative time you know atlas songs movies songs songs from the hat they're only the ones i can remember i see sometimes i see uh clips somebody who puts something up online of one of the things and there are songs i cannot even remember learning <laughs> That is the first time I've seen them too. Um, so yeah, yeah it, was, it was a very creative time, but obviously it was it was tr totally traumatic for everybody in, in many respects too. Yeah, talk to me about the, the the tour. So it's the Echo On tour. Obviously, that's on the back of your of your new album. Um, so people that have seen you live before, you know, like it's all, like your shows are are described as just um, energetic. They're described as powerful. Um, there's there's so many words to describe your live show that people who have seen you before uh, know what to expect. So in terms of people that might be coming to see you for the first time, what can they expect on this tour? Well, I like to use the words you use there. The ener you know, it, you want to. It's kind of like you want to energize people. You want to do to people what music does for you. I mean, I've always had a very large transmitter for music since I was a kid, where it just takes me away and. It, there's so much energy in music you know people go to therapists and they go they do all this kind of stuff but you can actually if you can tune into music all the energy you want is there you know all the right all the different frequencies are there but anyway so that's what the gig is about it's just about you know it's it's, it's fun as much as anything else it's trying to create in the 60s what they would call a happening where you don't know what's happening but something really good is happening that kind of thing and uh yeah, I mean, when I, I just kind of, I suppose I try to entertain myself first of all, and then hopefully that transmit out to the audience. So it's a bit of an old sing along um, with a lot of the uh, the old hits. I mean, I, I released the best of L last year too, which uh, for the twenty five year thing. So a lot of the old uh, popular favorites, and then uh, I mean, the new songs are really kicking too. They, they fit into the set very nicely, and it's always fun to record something and then go play it live because the songs are already expanding. Uh, very much so. Uh, I Duncan Maitland playing with me, who uh, produced the album with me, and is like a mu multi-instrumentalist kind of just an amazing musician. And also Jerry Eaton on drums and various instruments, who's a, an amazing artist. They're both great solo artists themselves. So we're making a good sound with Marco Bell on sound, and also the, 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 doing the sound at a show now is so much more than just doing the sound. You know, there, there, there's a lot going on. You're part of the band, really, is this thing. So we're using a lot of the new technology, um, which is cool as well. And uh, yeah, it's just just a great buzz. Making music is great fun, you know? Absolutely. Well, we're looking forward to having you back, Jack. <clears throat> as you said, I know we had you down just after COVID, but uh, I remember you did the first gig we had back. I remember that night with the Department of Culture and Arts and all that yeah, kind of Christy stuff. Yeah, Moore and everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I, I, um, I remember we were we were all to stay in our pods, but I was it was all acoustic, and then the last song. I, I hit. I had like a loop pedal, and I hit a, a board to the floor, and everybody just get up and start dancing. It was uh, it was a really yeah. special night. It has to be said. It was so the whole situation was so bizarre, but uh, you know, it, it it was very euphoric in the end. Yeah, it's it, it's one of those gigs you you won't forget anyway for a while. But um, yeah, a, a gig we won't forget for a while is this coming Friday night, the twenty fourth of March. Uh, because Jack L, you're back with us in the uh, INEC club. It's going to be a fantastic night. It's been a while since we've had you in there, and uh, yeah, we're all looking forward to seeing you. Absolutely, I can't wait for it. It's always a great buzz heading out to the INEC. So, can't wait for it, yeah. So, I'll see you all then, folks. Cheers, Jack. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>